Hello, welcome back. Hopefully you had a very fancy reading time. Now we're going to start writing an informational writing about giraffes. So we're taking a break this week from doing those true stories about your lives. Um, and we've been focusing on informational writing. So when you do informational writing, you are acting like a very grown up reader and writer. You are taking, in this case, an animal that you know a lot about, and then you're writing down information. So your reader is going to do the same thing that we just did. Your reader is going to be able to take your writing and learn about that animal that you've chosen to write about. So I want you to do something with me. Whenever we first start our writing, doesn't matter what kind of writing it is, if it's a how-to or a true story, or in this case, an informational piece, um, the very first thing that we do is we need to brainstorm. We need to think about what we want to write about. So here, I have a little guy. He's thinking about giraffes. So at home, I want you to be brainstorming with me. Let's see. We just read about giraffes. What is something interesting that I could say? Hmm. We heard that they were the tallest land mammal. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, they have those super long tongues that are about 18 inches long. They're kind of a black and blue. All right. Um, they have to bend down all kind of crazy to get water because they're so tall. Um, they like to eat leaves that are up high in a tree. Okay, so those are lots of ideas. I'm going to write a few of those down. Um, they eat leaves up in a tree. Draw a little picture of a leaf. Um, they're very tall. Very tall. And they have those long tongues. That's what I'm thinking of. Leaves, they're tall, and they have those long tongues. So I think that I want to write something about those. Those are my ideas that I have. I think I want to say a giraffe is the tallest, or I could say instead of the tallest mammal, I could make it even simpler, and I could say, did you know that a giraffe is so tall? Or, wow, a giraffe is very tall, because I want to hook my reader. So, I have my picture already done of my giraffe. I have it here. On the next page, I'm going to link a draw start that you can do if you want to make a giraffe like mine. Um, I started, and if, as you can tell, I went too long, and I had to use some of my lined paper. But that's okay, because I can always use another lined paper if I run out of writing space. So there I drew a picture of my giraffe. It has spots just like it did in the book. Um, I drew a picture of a tree and as you can tell the giraffe is like as tall as the tree. Um, for the grass, remember in the grasslands, did it look like super, super green? No, it's kind of a greenish, yellowish color. It's kind of dry there. There's not a lot of water, not a lot of trees. So there I have my giraffe. And it's a pretty clear day. You can see the blue sky. So, I think here I want to start off by saying, wow, and do that like expression word because I think drafts are pretty cool. All right, so here we go. I think I'm going to do wow with all capital letters. You ready? I'm going to say, Wow! And what am I going to put at the end? Exclamation mark. Wow! A giraffe. Giraffe is an incredibly tricky word to write. It does not sound exactly like it's supposed to. It is not written exactly how it sounds. So here I'm going to look at the word to help me. Readers and writers, this is what you do. You have to have these 
words available to you because it can be hard to memorize all of them, even with your popcorn words. All right, I'm going to look giraffe, a giraffe, G I R A F F E. Got it. Tricky word but I can use my resources. Wow, a giraffe is so, let's stretch out tall. T all, do you remember that giant all? A-L-L, -L. my friends we always said, A-L-L -L spells all, A-L-L -L spells all. All, all, we all fall down. So we have, wow, a giraffe is so tall. Okay, then we could say, a giraffe eats leaves. A, starting with my capital, because it's the beginning of a sentence, a giraffe. Giraffe, and I'm just using that word that I've already written, a giraffe e eats, eats we'll learn about this soon. When two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. A giraffe eats Leaves. Leave. V, v, leaves. A giraffe eats leaves. Wow, a giraffe is so tall. A giraffe eats leaves. And instead of just putting a period there, I could say a giraffe eats leaves with its long black tongue. Cool, huh? All right, so we say a giraffe eats leaves with w, e, th, th. That's like that thunder. Talking Tess and Harry Hatman. A giraffe eats leaves with its long, long. A giraffe eats leaves with its long black. B L A C K spells black. B L A C K spells black. All right. A giraffe eats leaves with its long black <gasps> tongue is actually really tricky. We're going to sound spell it because it's a crazy word. You would not believe it. Okay, so what do we hear in the word tongue? T, uh, t, ung, tongue. We are gonna sound it, we're going to spell it just the way it sounds. Are you ready? Help me. T, t, uh, 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 mm, mm. Tongue, g, g, tongue, okay. So, a giraffe eats leaves with its long black tongue. And then we're going to finish our sentence by putting a, a period. All right. So, we're going to reread our writing and see if we added information um, that can teach our reader. Are you ready? So, here we have, again, the giraffe. We see the setting. We see where this giraffe would live in the grasslands. And I'm going to say, wow. Wow, a giraffe is so tall. A giraffe eats leaves with its long black tongue. And if I wanted to, I could go back and I could add a long black tongue that's eating a leaf, just to kind of keep the picture and the words matching. So on the next page, I'm going to have some resources so you could look up more things about giraffes. You'll see the draw start so you can draw your own giraffe and you guys can write different things. Remember how we said that it's like your dad, if he, there were three of your dads standing on top of each other, that's how tall a giraffe is. You could write that. You could write that 
The giraffe likes eating leaves from an acacia tree, and the acacia tree has thorns. You could draw thorns on the tree. Um, you could say that the giraffe uses those strong legs to kick away people. Uh, well, people too, but any predators that are trying to eat it. And I want you to notice one more thing before we go about this giraffe. Here he is, and I'm gonna show you the book again. Why do you think the giraffe is yellow with those brown spots? Do you think it's just to look pretty? Polka dots are kind of fun. Oh, it's not just to look pretty. If you said camouflage, give yourself a big zero round of applause. A giraffe looks the way that it does because it is camouflage. I'm going to show you some pictures from my computer and some of these will be down below. But if you look guys, you can see that those spots help the giraffe look like the tree that it stands next to because it blends in with all of the light and the dark spots and the branches of the tree so that predators, animals that want to try to eat it like that hungry lion in the book, can't see it very well because it's blending in with its environment in the grasslands. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys will write your own informational writing about a giraffe or about another animal that you think is really cool and you will send us pictures. All right, bye. Have a very fancy Friday, guys.